Well, hello, Bear B Review uh, number eight coming for you. Now, this is a really, 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 really interesting beer review for me because today we are drinking Brass Castle's Bad Kitty. Look at that for some bottle work, eh? Isn't that pretty cool? Now, the reason why this one is exciting for me is because this is a bottle of beer that I have helped to brew. These guys are absolutely fantastic uh, duo, Phil and Ian. Um, brewed out of a tiny little place called Bugthorpe. Uh, it's a small little town and um, there is um, an old manor there, an old uh, country estate owned by the Lord and he has his own brewery on the estate and he's he's loaned them his brewery um, to be able to, to brew in. Uh, it's an absolutely tiny place. It's got a mash tun slash hot kettle that is, um, has to be heated by one big gas burner and also a fermented vessel. Um, and it, it's mostly gravity driven, so the, the, the um, mash tun slash hot kettle is on an upstairs floor. And then it gets passed down into the fermenting vat down below and we have to kind of circulate back up and around uh, it's a really really wonderful fantastic little place um, and they're also part time brewer as well at a place called the Goodman and Arms uh, near Market Wheaton which is just one East Yorkshire's uh, or sorry, I should say camera East Yorkshire, East Yorkshire cameras um, village pub of the year um, really really worth checking that place out it's owned by a fantastic couple called Abby and Vito who brew their own beer there at All Hallows Brewery. It's the little on-site brewery uh, for the Goodman Arms and I believe this, this bottle here will have been brewed at, um, at the All Hallows Brewery. Um, I'll just read out the information on the back for you. It says, a Brass Castle Brewery is a nano brewery based in the centre of Pocklington, East Yorkshire. We create natural real ales using traditional processes and high quality ingredients. The beer you're about to enjoy is bottom condition for a fuller flavour. Pour, spelled P-A-W, gently. Ingredients, water, malt, hops, yeast and Madagascan vanilla. It's 5.5% uh, and this is batch number 3097. Right, let's get her open. As you can probably tell by the name, it is a uh, vanilla porter, the Bad Kitty Vanilla Porter. It's got a wonderful little red cap on as well, a metallic red cap. So let's get her open. And lots of steam and smoke coming off the top of that. We pop it open. Quite a bit of bubbles in it as well. Um, and as you heard in the ingredients, there's uh, vanilla, Madagascan vanilla in here as well, um, put into the brewing. Let's give it a good flavour. I'm just going to hold that up. As you can see, it's pouring a wonderful, really, really dark, dark colour. Uh, it's going to be too much for the bottle, uh, for the glass even. Just give it a swirl, see if I can get some sediment through. There we go. I mean, look at that for a colour. It's thick and gloopy, as you can see. It's completely black. I can completely hide my face with that. Um, tons of bubbles going on around the outside of the glass. It might be able to hold it, but you can see. All the way around, there's bubbling going on everywhere. There's tons of carbonation in it. Uh, I can't really swill it to see if uh, about lacing because I've poured myself a very generous glass of it. So I'll get into some aromas. Oh yeah, tons of chocolatey and roasted malts coming straight through there, right hitching it straight off the bat. And uh, you can smell the vanilla in it too. It's almost kind of like um, yeah. Almost kind of like a milk chocolatey smell. You know, really, really traditional smelling sound, um, kind of, kind of porter. You know, the chocolatey, malty notes, deep body, and a tiny bit of a hoppy note going on as well at the back end. There's a little bit of fruit coming through. Oh, uh, that could be, uh, could be some of the vanilla, um, and I believe that's why, that's why they slash we put the vanilla into it. Is it kind of boosts the hoppy flavour of your beer. It's also been such of a mold bomb, you know, like quite a lot of stouts and porters are. They're very dark and very heavy beers. Um, right, without further ado, I shall I shall get into it. Oh yeah, really full of malt flavour, full of chocolate, full of roastedness. Um, Comes quite some quite bitter on the back of your tongue, almost like a, I guess kind of a dark chocolatey flavour. Then, um, fantastic kind of a breathe through note of vanilla as well. Um, when you kind of taking a sip and, and you get a couple of seconds later, you get you get the vanilla tone coming through. Get another sip. It's um, nowhere near as thick on the palate as you'd imagine it to be either. Um, it's quite 
quite light really considering it's such a, a, a dark coloured beer um, it doesn't feel at all heavy and stodgy it feels quite smooth and flowy uh, I can only I can only recommend that if you ever see this in especially if you live in, in East Yorkshire or kind of around the York area they sometimes so you'll find this especially in York and in Beverly you'll find you'll find this quite readily available at a couple of um, a couple of pubs really try it on draft because y y you'll get the much if, it, if it's already this smooth in a bottle it's going to be a hell of a lot smoother when it's coming from cask and that's all I'll say as for hoppy tones it does come through kind of at the end uh, like I said when you get that a couple of seconds later vanilla kick you also get a kind of hoppy bitterness as well just subdued it's definitely subdued with with such a multi bit you just oh, I'm going to taste as much as much of the hops as, you, as you'd like I, I, mean, I know I know how much malt that, that I have helped them put into these beers 250 kilograms for a five barrel for a five barrel outcome uh, you know it's, it's a lot of, it's, a, it's a lot of malt and uh, it, it, they use a lot of speciality malts, especially in this valley. There is there is a ton of speciality malts that go into it. But speciality malts meaning the roasteds and the chocolates, anything away from your kind of traditional pale malts that give the flavour. You get your dark malts um, and you get your roasteds and your chocolates that add the extra body on. So it goes from just being kind of a beer and you get the dark and roasted ones and it gives that chocolate flavour gives it the darker flavour of the beer. Uh, I know, you know, like I said, I know how much goes into it and, and, and similarly similarly, a large amount of hops goes into it as well but um, when you're using so much malt, when you're using so much malt even, even putting as much hop in the world as you like, it's just not going to be as bitter. Uh, yeah, so this is the first time I've managed to try this uh, coming, from a, coming from a bottle. I obviously help my friends out as they're helping me out in my kind of brewing career, um, so I tend to try and buy, drink a lot of their stuff whenever I see it on tap in town. This is the first time I've had it from a bottle, and it is—it's it, definitely very, very pleasant. It's a lot better than I—I I, I, I thought it, it might have been. I've let this one warm, warm up a little bit to try and get through some of the more flavor, uh, some some of the flavors through a little bit more, and it, it's been really pleasant. Uh, you know, really enjoying it for, for for a little small brewery. The uh, the recipes that Phil uses are really, really impressive and, and very imaginative. At the same time, uh, some of the other porters that he's done, um, called Burnout, is a peat smoke porter, and that that really has like a whiskey kind of flavour to it. And there's a traditional sort of pale ale, India pale ale maybe, um, drink called Sunshine, and that just uses such an absolute bomb of 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 new world hops of kind of I think it's want to say Cascade and Nelson Savant, so you know really full on hops and for a, a traditional style ale, a traditional style English ale it tends to be quite flat and you, you know you, you drink them a bit warmer, uh, wonderful level of carbonation and just as well, just much as there is in this there is definitely carbonation you feel it kind of bubbling around your tongue but it's still smooth, very smooth style of carbonation as opposed to a kind of lagery bubbliness. Um, so check these guys out, uh, they have a website and a Facebook and a Twitter, it is brasscastlebrewery.co.uk and they'll be on Facebook and Twitter as well, Phil's always on there, he's always on his Twitter, he's always tweeting all the time so I'm sure if you were to tweet him and ask him where you can buy his wonderful product or if you want some sending to you, he'll do that. So there we go, wonderful, wonderful uh, porter, really, really lovely flavoured. Wonderful vanilla coming through, fantastic multi body, and that nice little hoppy bitterness as well. Go out and give it a try. Cheers, guys. I shall see you next time.